Well, hello everybody. Um, I do apologize for not putting a, a vlog up yesterday. Uh, wasn't much really going on. Um, <laughs> same for today too, but um, I did want to share some things with you. Um, a lot of people wonder why it is I do what I do. Even starting these vlogs up again, a lot of you that are watching this have told me uh, that you're glad that they're back up, and I certainly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, but some people find it strange that I do it. Um, it just goes along with everything else that I do. Uh, I've got several websites. Um, there's jeremywomack.com, which originally started uh, back in the day when I was working with a company called Mingle Now. Uh, many of you remember that. Um, some of you have never even heard of it. But uh, it was, back in the day, a combination of, if no better um, description than to say it was like napkin nights and MySpace rolled together. It was a way for you, uh, for you to get in touch with people that were in the nightlife industry, that enjoyed clubs, things like that, and provided pictures from um, the evening's events. And I helped launch that in Las Vegas. Uh, they eventually got bought out by uh, Yahoo. And uh, then there was no more Mingle Now. So then I said to myself, well, what do I do? Uh, I had my website, jeremywomack.com, which was basically to help promote that, um, putting up stories. Hey, I shot at this event last night. Check out the pictures. Uh, and here's a link to them. That's what that was all about. And as then that wasn't around anymore. I'm like, okay, I need to find a, uh, a a way to house photos since I was continuing to take pictures. I had nightclubs still uh, hiring me, uh, or not hiring me, they allowing me in the clubs to take pictures. And I started Las Vegas Nightlife Network uh, because throughout the years I had learned how to really utilize um, the internet in a way to garner more attention. Uh, get more hits, and that's how that started. Las Vegas Nightlife Network, uh, because the idea of the website is a social network, um, and having Las Vegas Nightlife in front of it made sense because people looked for Las Vegas Nightlife online. And since that's what it was, had pictures and reviews and all sorts of stuff on there, That's and then members as, as well, uh, that's why I decided to name it. So those two, in conjunction kind of started me on other websites. I also have a website called MyLasVegasEntertainment.com which is really cool because um, this has been for quite a while now that I've held, held this position but uh, I just put it on Facebook today. Um, I have held the number one position on Google and I guess it sometimes on Google it depends on where you're looking at. It could be number two or three or something like that but I'm pretty sure it's the number one everywhere position out of 38 million search results so when you type in uh, this search term uh, 38 million results come back and the search term is uh, top 10 uh, Las Vegas shows and um, my website my Las Vegas uh, entertainment .com is the number one search result for that it's it's interesting because a larger website destination 360 uh, has the number two spot and I know for a fact that guy's kind of pissed off about it. Um, I don't know him personally. I just know that he's contacted me before and, you know, he read me the right act for uh, pictures that I had used that apparently were from his, his site. I had no clue they were from his site. So, um, you know, gave me shit about it. But anyway, that's besides the point. But I don't think he would have been mad if I had not, um, my website was not ahead of his for that search term. Because that's a pretty high in search term when you uh, think about it. People want to know what the top 10 Las Vegas shows are. They're coming into town, they want to know, okay, I want to see a show, what are the top 10? And so they type that in and then, boom, my site comes up. And I make money by people purchasing tickets through my site. So um, so there's that. And then I also have GetLasVegasTickets.com. I've got MyLasVegasPools.com. I created uh, several sites. I've got others waiting in the wings too uh, for our economy to kind of kick back in um, that I will do as well that 
basically do the same thing there about Las Vegas and, and what's going on here in town and um, you know what you should see, what you should do, things like that. And I I told you all this information because um, it's kind of been a growing process. Uh, prior to even doing Mingo Now, I, I was shooting with Las Vegas Weekly and through Mingo Now, still shooting with Las Vegas Weekly, I was doing, for four years I was the the Vegas scene photographer, their Vegas scene page. And um, that was me doing that, and that was fun. Uh, I, that's how I even got introduced into doing nightlife. Um, many of you know I don't drink. I don't really party. Uh, although you might uh, think that I do, based upon any pictures that you see of me. But, you know, hey, it's all marketing. So, um, But it, it seems to be doing uh, its purpose. But uh, got introduced to that scene through that, and then slowly progressed. But that was a side note. But the reason for doing all this stuff is to work for myself. Uh, my dad was an entrepreneur, still is, basically. Um, and I learned from him that that's what I wanted to do. When I was in high school, my dad uh, was able to go to all my track meets, all my basketball games, all that stuff. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's what I want. I don't know what I want to do, but I want to be an entrepreneur because if I have kids, which I don't have any... Thank God. And I now thinking on it, I don't think that I want any. But um, anyway, uh, it, I thought when I was in high school, if I had kids, I would want to be able to go to my children's sports events. And the reason he was able to do that is because he owned his own business. So come four o'clock in the afternoon, he could take off doing his job, his his work, to go see my game because he knew that he could go and finish it later on in the in the day so it, his schedule didn't revolve around work it revolved around what I was doing and I greatly appreciated that because I was one of the few kids that always had his dad in the stands you know screaming for him you know whether it was a track meet or uh, anything and uh, that you know resonated in me and it said you know this is this is cool this is something that I want in my life and um and I've been striving for that for a long time. I can I can sit here and say, um, for the last five years, even in this down economy, even in this down economy, I haven't worked for a place specifically uh, where I got an every two week check. Um, so I think that says a lot, at least for for me. And I'm kind of proud of the fact that. Um, I haven't had that. Now that I'm not saying that that's not cool. It's it's obviously nice to know that uh, in two every two weeks I'm going to get this amount of money. So don't get me wrong. For those that like that structured lifestyle, that's great uh, for me. Uh, I don't really like that. I actually enjoy not knowing <laughs> what I'm going to get because one day I might get a huge uh, photography gig. Uh, or I'll, I'll sell a bunch of tickets through my site, and you know it's kind of like, hey, it's Christmas, um, but I get to I get to structure my life how I want it, and that's really what I've wanted to do. People have always asked me, you know, what is it that you want to do? And my standard response, and it and it goes over all boundaries, is I want to be able to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it, and that's it. That's my goal. It's it, I guess, kind of vague. But it covers a lot of bases. I want to be able to do uh, what I want to do with my life and enjoy the time that I have here. So, if <laughs> all that said, if you wanted to know why it is that I do what I do, that is why I do it. If you are a fan of mine on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, you enjoy, you know, um, JeremyWalmart.com, you enjoy LasVegasNightlifeNetwork.com, I also own LasVegasModelNetwork.com. I also own LasVegasMusicNetwork.com. LasVegasMusicNetwork.com will uh, is starting to, you know, gain its stride. So you might be watching out for that. That's for bands and DJs to pr help promote themselves. Las Vegas Model Network for photographers, models, and uh, actors and actresses to promote themselves. Um, I'm I do all this. I have all these sites and and, and all that. And all, there's a lot of fans out there for those sites. I do it so I don't have to. You know, have a J O B. I it's an acronym for me. Adjust over broke. For those of you that want to know, um, even when I was working with uh, X Radio, 
there wasn't, it was still an entrepreneurship, trust me on that one, still an entrepreneurship. So um, I encourage everybody to do the same. Uh, many of you can't or won't. I don't think it's a can't. I just think it's a won't. Uh, everybody has a skill. Everybody has something that they like doing. And if they if they put enough effort and thinking into it, instead of thinking to themselves, ah, uh, you know, you know, what is it that I can do? I can't do anything. Instead, ask yourself the question, what what can I do? What is it that I like doing that I can make money at? And once you start asking those key questions to yourself, you'll start these, oddly enough, odd, uh, ideas will start popping into your head. So ask yourself the question. And maybe you like hiking. Well, then why don't you be a tour guide for hiking? If you love hiking so much, you know where all the cool trails are. Well, if you live here in Las Vegas, you have tons of tourists that come into town. Start yourself a website. People will look you up online, find your website, you know, a tour guide for hiking, something like that, I don't know, and start making money that way. Oh, I can't uh, take credit cards, there's PayPal. Oh, you know, or make it cash, whatever. You know, any, any kind of excuse that you can come up with of why you can't do it, there's an equal and opposite of excuse as to why you can do it. As, as ooey ooey or, you know, positive thinking as that sounds, it's true. Um, any negativity that you can come up with for anything, there's an equal positive side to it that you can come up with as well. So, you know, maybe this was an advice video, I don't know, and maybe it makes up for the not having one up yesterday, but I really wanted to share that with you guys, and, and hopefully it was cool for you. Hopefully you enjoy it, and hopefully you enjoy this video, and, and keep going to my sites. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys have a great night, and uh, we'll see you soon.